And, um, oh, my fault. Wrong way. Uh, come on, turn around. Turn around. I see. <sighs> oh, good, good morning. Great day, family. Great day. Great Imani. It is good to be here amongst y'all once again on the journey. Uh-oh, they're letting y'all know we are here streaming. It's getting up. It's me. Periscope ain't up mm. yet. YouTube not up yet. And the black signal black snip black signal has went out. And man oh man. I can't wait to get into it today. We got a little discussion that we gotta catch. So of course y'all know we're gonna do the toast. But first, first and foremost, I need to welcome you to the congregation of the mighty. This is Giami Journey Media. Ooh, clean. God damn, he be sneaking around. I try to say, hey man, he can't be on the computer, and he be mixing all my. Let me, let me go and flip it around so anime can go and voice her opinion about the Giami journey, cause y'all know she usually a little bit louder than that. This is Giami Journey Media. That's right. Of course, you know this is the Daily Toaster and some more. And this is the heart of a summer production. See how this works. It's open. Great Imani to each and every last one of y'all. 
So, sitting up here, drinking on some water. About to bust out the help drink. Man, listen, dog. I've been running, 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 running. And I'm like, man, okay. All right, um, so, let's do this. I'm going to finish drinking this water. We're going to do the toast. Let's go to see my family from OSU. Uh, and it's good to know that uh, we still getting together. We still, and we still out here. Those of us that still alive, we still out here kicking it. We still out here, you know what I'm saying? So, um, shouts out to all those people um, who went to OSU. All those black folks that I happen, I know many of them between certain years. I won't give years because some people just don't want to, you know, you know. All right, let's just fuck it. Between 84 and 97, I actually went in the school year of 88. But, you know, I have friends that was there before me. And I have friends that probably may still be there now. So, shouts out to all those that went to Ohio State. Um, you know, there's plenty of bullshit up in the news that we can go and talk about. But, I, you know, there's other shows that do that. We here to toast the ancestors. Look at some some ancestral wisdom and see how we can apply it. So, um, the Proverbs that we need to cover, I'm just going to read them right now. Then uh, if y'all want to discuss them, y'all call in. The past is prophetic in that it asserts loudly that war. That's Martin Luther King Jr. The second one, a man will fight harder for his interests than for his rights. That's Napoleon Bonaparte, and I think that's a very important one that we really, really, really need to sit down and chat about. Um, the youth walk faster than the elderly, elderly but the elderly knows roll or like this. Youth, the youth walk faster than the elders, but the elders know the road. All right, that's from the Nihilistic. Uh, okay, so Nihilistic, Nihilistic. My fault. Let me say it like that. All right. So over the last month, I have been blessed to be able to share the principle or the ideas behind the principle of unity. And I shared some folk tales with younger people about unity. For those that don't know, there are like 400 Chaglia, um, Kuji Chaglia Night for the show, uh, folk, uh, for your folk tales for grown folks. Y'all know because we have been through i just give you a round estimate real quick. This is the book. See that? We are... Versus is that, Brother Hot Tim? So, we on page... Let me see. Okay, yeah, we done did that one. So, the folktales start on page 18. We are on page 292. So, we... And we've been doing that show. So some of y'all are going to be well versed in folk tales. Or at least we're gonna have a nice a nice under some mind, right? Four hundred somewhere around there. We done took them and we done added the principle that they represent on each one. So seven or one of them Guzasaba. And we have done that. Right? We we've done that. And um so as the central principle of that month. Now, not that everybody buys into it, but it's brilliant. Over the last month, I've been able to get through four folk tales primarily and five in some class. And then I ended with one last folk tale at the Rocket Roll Call. And I'm going to share that one with you. But I'm going to let you know the lessons that we learned about unity. The first one for those that and that dealt with kindness. That dealt with practicing kindness. Unity requires kindness. Unity means that you're doing things for others, especially in your collective, mainly in your collective, in your tribe, in your family, out of kindness. That's what we learned. Now, getting this from the kids. Second one was from a story called The Donkey and the Purchaser. In the donkey and the purchaser, the lesson was the company we keep. Be aware of the company that we keep because others reflect that, but also going deeper, looking at forming within the group 
that you're striving to have unity because we have them. We call them cliques. Let's call them, I'm calling them what they are, companies. They're companies, and all companies have an end goal. And if you don't have an end goal, then your end goal is chaos. You know what I'm saying? Your end goal is fuckery because it arises. Entropy exists, and entropy, where there is not a guiding force, entropy will come up, and it will overtake it. All right? So the companies that you keep, are they working for the collective or against the collective? Very pertinent one. Less so for kids. Well, actually, more kids and adults, children and adults, right? Because you see this shit happening. Y'all could be on some good shit. Some good shit is going. Companies form, and those companies is fuckery ink. You know what I'm saying? We got these companies popping up within our collective, within our tribes, within our our our, our communities. These groups pop up and cause confusion. And we have to start understanding that not only as an individual do I affect the collective, but I also affect the collective by the company that I keep. So that story is called the ad is actually called the ass and the purchaser, but I can't go into the school and be like, listen, children, I'm going to tell you the story about the ass and the purchaser. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to get into the story. So it's the donkey and the purchaser at the school, but in folk tales for grown folks, it's the ass and the purchaser. And it's not a porno, by the way. It's a very good story. Very good story. If we're going to have unity, we have to know how to deal with conflict. Because as soon as we start fighting and fussing among ourselves, we make ourselves vulnerable to the lions or to the predators outside of our circle that could come in and eliminate us one at a time. As a matter of fact, in the story, the bulls beefing amongst themselves. How many times have we witnessed this? How do we resolve conflict? I'm going to go over to my corner and you go over to your corner. And we go over to, I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. I see messing with. Understand it's a war zone. I can't understand it for the life of me. Right? I'm sitting up here trying to keep peace and shit. I'm the bad guy. I'm like, oh, okay, well, fuck it. I don't care. I'll just be the bad guy. I'm going to keep building, though. Good luck. You know what I'm saying? Good luck. All right, good stuff. Where, where, where is that? There you go. Resolve a conflict. How do you feel? Bad, sad, or scared? Hmm? I got answered. The fifth one, not everybody got. But the fourth one's called the stomach and its members. The stomach and its members, right? And this is a story about a stomach. Well, everybody's jealous of the stomach because the stomach get all the food. So they just they just decide not to do shit. And all of them get to eat. But by the time they figured out, it was too late. The body died. Right? So that story is about understanding and knowing what the stomach do. The brain does what the brain does. The eye does what the eye does. The nose does what the nose does. Other than that, you have confusion. You can't have unity. I will be calling you after the show. I was just about I was about to mention that. You ain't give me a chance. But I got you I got you the whole package. Right here. You got you got the whole packet. So you got to go through the packet to find that. But it's a good look, right? It's a it, it's a good product to, to have to go through. So I, I got that right here for you. I'm just I just got um Alright, so all those to say, I get to the final story, and that one I think was is more pertinent for. Well, actually, actually, it's good on all levels. And the story that I shared with the young people this week was the hair. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, I gotta look it up. Brother, getting old. I love it. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Come on up. It's coming up. I know it's about a hair. For those of it took me a long time to understand the difference. I still don't. I'm, let me shut up. I still don't understand the difference between a hair and a rabbit. But it looked like a hair got shorter ears or some shit like that. I, you know what I'm saying? So here we go. Let me open it up.
Come on. Computer moving slow. There it go. About to say maybe it don't like me no more. So lines are open, family. Lines are open. Feel free to call in. Join us for the toast. If not, I'm toasted up. Then I'm going to do my deliveries. Right? Let's see. I got the first screen up. The hair and all his friends. I think that's the name of it because this thing taking entirely too long. All right. Damn, it's taking a long time. All right, here we go. Boom. Come on. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Uh, we're too far down. All right, there we go. The Hair with Many Friends. That's the title of it. All right. So I'm just telling it in my fashion. I want y'all to think about it as adults as well as community. Right? Let's try. Right? As a people with specific needs. The hair was very popular amongst the other animals. You know, he could go on the farmyard and he could chill with the bull and they would have a conversation. The goat, chickens, all these friends he had around him. Everybody seemed to love him. Right? He'd go, he was popular and he believed that he had a whole lot of friends so one day he heard behind him the baying of hounds and he heard men's him, and the dogs start getting closer and closer so the first place he go is to the place where all his friends is is on the farm and he heads towards the bull and he looks at the bull and says bull oh, can I hide here uh, I'm going to say man it's kind of tight in this pen. You, you better go somewhere else. So then he ran over to to the goat. The goat said, "He said, goat, <laughs> can I? Can you hide? Can you help me out? P perhaps fight the dogs." He said, "Man, dogs like to eat goats too. I think you better go somewhere else." So the rabbit ran high and talked to the cow. And the cow like. Moo, I got another point, homie. You, you go somewhere else. Maybe maybe the ducks can help you. And they went to the duck, and the duck was like, uh, I don't want to call Scrabbit. Went through, or the hare went through all his friends. All of his friends. And was turned around at every stop. So he was able to escape. He was able to slide it. What he called friends wasn't friends. And the moral of the story was simply, those with many friends have no friends. Those with many friends have no friends. And that's unique claim on this country. Very unique. Friends. Right? And to put our friends' needs in front of our needs is sort of like this hair because what has been shown is that when we run to get the aid kicking with you when it was all good, but when shit hit the fan, you started finding out that you was in you you was in this shit by yourself. Right, family? And one of the things I love about Aesop is Aesop uh, Aesop those people in their proper place, which goes back to that one folk tale, the stomach and its members, because those other parts didn't understand their role, nor did they understand the role, right? But they didn't know their space. They didn't know their place. And what I'm telling you, as an intelligent being, as a very intelligent person, you need to start identifying what people's roles on your life so that you won't have to be running to the door when the shit hits the fan and be turned away if you are going to have weather and who are who, who, who are steadfast true friends that's, I mean I honestly believe that's that's a major step 
you by yourself. But it's also about the company that you keep, fam. I'm just, I'm just being honest. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Is it? it I, and let's get to work. Well, you got those that be sitting around, oh, man. You deserve to chill. Go on, take a break. You know, let's chill for about a couple of weeks. Get this water. Get this toast on. Let me check some other stuff real quick. All right. So I guess we can save those proverbs for next week. I'm going to drink this water and put on some. Uh, let's see what we could play today. Uh oh. About to say it froze on me. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Huh. I just do the pledge. I am a Chiami man. I was born for greatness. My greatness comes from my potent center. I pledge to find and connect with my center. I pledge to build my spirit, mind, and body. I pledge to use my hands to build a better world for myself, my loved ones, and my community. Compose limitations. I pledge to promote the principles of the Giambi Warriors, and to assist all those who are seeking the path of success. I pledge all these things first to myself, my teachers, to all my relations, and to my higher power. I am Giambi. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. All right. What I have is the last little bit. Somebody been sneaking in my goddamn bottles. Somebody been sneaking him up. My lemon lime and ginger. So let's go and drink a little bit of this. Let's go and do this toast. We're going to do this one. This one is. I allow it to sit and stew in that lemon lime and ginger. Lemon juice squeezed out. Lime juice squeezed out. The whole, the whole thing. The whole thing. It's right in there. So that's kind of why it's kind of white, too. Kind of a milky consistency. You see it? All right. First, give an honor to the creator by whatever name you choose. Say, from near family, we move to our beautiful list of ancestors. And family, if you want to add your ancestors to the list, the number is 614-300-1875. Text toast on any of the other shows. Or if you just want to know about activities, you can be very, you can individualize what type of texts you receive. Right? So, Let's go. Watch Chris Bennett, Gasson, I'm Lena, Uncle Chris, I'm Fiend, including Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, watch Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avala Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, watch Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fallard, Montague Pimpinel, Normal X, Pet Mind Ra, Malika Fakur, Dr. Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Echo Jr., Jay Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Hayes, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Dagel Pulley, and the Luxor Brothers, Miss Edith Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Ms. Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Ms. Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Watson S. McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Grinderman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend J. Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Willie, Lee the Farmer, I go to Sue, Cheryl Harvey, I Charmaine, I Evelyn, Theolis, Theolis Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sir Barry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Erica Tricia Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keats Larice, Linda Watson Hammond, Zero Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Seven Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavina Hall, Freeman Banks, the Mary Marshall, Philly Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quills, Uranian Thornton, Bernice Quills, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S. E. Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, May Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Morland, Paul Morland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martineer, I'm Fred Douglas Triggs II, Bina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, 
Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. Let's go to, hold on, let's see who's, where we streaming at. Annie Ferguson, Michael and Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards, McNabb, Mazarine Copra and George Swan, Edmonia Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles H. Scott, Reginald Oliver, Linda Howard, Jacqueline Broadus, Ethel H. McNeil, Lois Fernandez, Edward R. Benson Sr. I might not be casting, all right. Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed. Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Kate, uh, Keish, uh, Rayshon Easley, Javier McCormick, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, Jonker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irvin, Haroon Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irving Sr., Michael Irvin, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Mirelle Ellis, Elizabeth Battles, Jeanette, Sand Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brantley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Baba Naeem, Tim Butler, Ramey Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., John Love Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, Henry West Statton, Joe Jamel Alls, Ms. Vanilla, Alvis Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Arlington Houston, Albert Moore, Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slay, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson. Vivian Stevenson, Neely and Johnson, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Cofer. Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Lester and Rachel Saunders, John Bowie, Alex Nixon, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwilyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harry Tubman Cates, Spencer Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino Baby Hatch, Hatch Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Aunt Becker, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell. Hey, who on, who, who piling Jeremy Journey right now? Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Haley Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, June Evans, Donna Hill, Richard Glebus, Jerry Doyle, Amina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G. Two Gibson, Emma McClendon, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irving, Judy Brantley, Brian Watson, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Thomas Bradley, Reverend Roosevelt, Word the First, Jennifer Sensenbaugh, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Florence Evans, Pamela Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Joe Johnson, Wilbert Longmire, Edith Catney, Eugene Spratling, Calvin Spratling, Phyllis Lee, Defridis Hines, Inez Bostic, Edna Bostic, Winifred Scannelbear. It is. So are we about to toast the moment. You know what I'm saying? What's the matter with you? You know. Tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Live this day. We're gonna do. We're gonna do what we supposed to do. We're gonna do some building today. Today is Imani. Imani. For those that don't speak the language, Imani means faith. Damn, this real daily toaster shirt look good. Yeah. The Hermetic Law's gender, male, energy, emotional emancipation, circle, African center, cultural virtue, and value system. In the world of the day, we are dealing with Jom, which is a sense of honor, self-respect. 
A con ethics. Traditional Yoruba. Attributes of good character. Oju Ona. Originality. Looking at the circle for the six emotions, family. Mad, sad, scared, powerful, peaceful, joyful. Which are you? And what are the questions? You need to know these things. We need to go and bring this brother back. We need a workshop. We need a weekend workshop. Lock in weekend workshop. We gonna rent us a nice little place up somewhere and we can actually work on exercises and oh let's do it. We can do it. Alright. So we in this moment, we salute because in this moment is all we got. And and in this moment, we are gonna make all the changes that we need to make in order to move forward. And with that, we say I shave from their family. We salute our children, our children's children on to affinity, and we say I shave from there. Guess what? That's where we go. We go to all of our relations. All of our relations, right? All of our relations. And I'm cool with that. So I lift up my glass, and guess what I say? I shave. From their family, uh, I got you, All right? I'm holding it up. Get it out. Toast, and we say, I say, last but not least, family, I am going to toast the most powerful person in the room, and that is peace, power, joy, and 100 years. All right? So, let's see. I'm going to sip on this for a minute. You all want to have some discussion. The lines are open, 614 556 Four five three five. Once again, that number is six one. We got some. If you want to make a comment on the folk tale I drop, if you want to make a comment on any of those uh, uh, principles that I mean, any of those proverbs that I just wear, proverbs and quotes that I just wear, by all means, we got a discussion. If not, I need to get up and start making these ambrosia deliveries. Mm. This call is uh -oh. being recorded. Somebody on the line. Who this on the line? This is Sister Nafita on the line. What's up? Oh, by the way, <coughs> I want to thank everybody that came on and kicked it with us yesterday. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I want. I keep getting like a baffering when I'm trying to listen. A who? On. Facebook or YouTube. Like the buffers, I start getting that circle when I'm trying to watch the show sometime for the last two days, like on, on YouTube and on Facebook. I keep getting the in and out. Now, I don't know if that's just on my end. No, that's not on your end. That's just technology I'm using. I'm I'm trying to get this shit a chance, you know, because I get to stream on multiple platforms. But if I got to let that shit go... And go back to the way we used to. Now I keep on I, the the one, the one place I'm trying to get everybody to go is to Spreaker. I know, I know, I know. I know. Download the app. Lock me in. Somebody else is up on the line. I'm sorry for the broken up stuff. Who else on the line? This is Cynthia. Um, Greetings, everyone. First of all, uh, same thing as Sister Levita. I got the notifications today. Um, for Facebook, I couldn't, like, I couldn't really watch it on either touch it live when I can. Um, right. But I never really have a problem, like, tuning in with Spreaker first come to show. So today, I just thought I'd call in because. You know, most times I just usually listen. So, greetings, everyone. What's up? And greetings. I and I got your package. Oh, I miss you at yoga, and I, that's my fault. I totally forgot to uh, send you a personal message with a re-invite, but we missed you this morning. Oh, uh, 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 Sister Romney's yoga thing? Yes, ma'am. Okay, uh, Ingus, okay. I, I, I uh, did forget it. And what time does that usually go on? 10 o'clock, is it? Yep. Anybody listening, if you're in need of healing, uh, please believe that we're, we're healing, we're doing our healing for everyone. But, um, you know, it's always good to practice in community. And so take this as your personal invitation to come to Sister Honey's yoga class on Sunday morning. Sunday morning is where? Okay. Is that Gore Insurance? Gore Insurance. Mm -hmm. On Broad Street, right next to the BMV. Right next to the BMV. Um, uh, we had a great turnout last night for... Man, I hope I don't have to drop this platform because just the idea of streaming on all these... 
but it might be causing confusion and I definitely want to make sure I want to make sure that we're able to get the message out but um the movie was excellent last night people t even though she lost the money um I just want to get <laughs> Okay, bless her heart. Wait, wait. She came around. I said, how you lose money? I said, I, was, I played. I lost the money. I said, girl, you better go find that money. I said, no, nah, I better yet. You go sit at the table. I walk around and see about time. So, you know, there you go. I mean, I mean, because losing money is part of learning about business. Shit, hell, losing money is part of growing up. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm getting them chores or something. You know. <laughs> you know what? Well, you. Okay. You crazy. <laughs> but last, last night was um, the testimony of uh, Sister Tiantra and she really, you know, some brothers will say to you, like, you know, like, you know, I got to have me a light skin girl, your light skin, or whatever. Um, what is this? And um, the different comments that we may get, even as life sentences, and, and she, you know, let, she would let the brothers know that that's not a compliment to me. You know what I'm saying? And it's not a compliment. And she would say, go on to yes, I'm chocolate just like you. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're in this game okay. together. There okay. is no difference because of the exterior piece. We are. I'm chocolate, just like you. Somebody else. So is that on really um, hit home for me. It's not, cause, cause sometimes women um, do find that as a compliment when a brother be like, "Who oh, you light skin and pretty? Or, you know, I, I let me a light skin sister. You know, all of that stuff." And um, so it felt good to to hear the sister say. How she was chocolate, just like the rest of us sisters. We all chocolate sisters, and we're not going to do that differentiating thing, you know. I, and I, it's not a compliment. Uh oh. And I'm not kind of, I'm not really like that. What she said that. Uh, somebody else has joined us on the line. What's going on, family? Feel free to share. Um, who is it? I, uh, I I was do I'm doing work on this house right now, and there's a lot of saws and drills going on. So I, was, I came in on mute. Okay, cool. Um, did you did you was just calling in to listen? I just hey, here, man. I know the real Quasi. That wasn't Quasi, dog. That was that was a clone. That nigga been <laughs> cloned. I'm trying to tell you right now. <laughs> yeah, you can't be telling my secrets, man. My clone's supposed to be a secret, man. Everybody ain't supposed to know. Be deeper than me, fuck. Get out. What are you doing? <laughs> Time out. That's deep, dog. What? Now I gotta say something. Now, but we we really appreciate everybody that came out. And uh, Chris, it was good seeing you. Um, that that goes on that that whole chocolate piece, cause I you know I you know I wrote that shit. You know I I, I have to, but I gotta find it. I wrote a poem years ago. As a matter of fact, my sister Jackie was the one. Jackie really let me know how. I uh, see, you know, this one right here. She was like, man, I need that shit. I was like, this is one of the first poems I wrote. Um, I have a, I had a teacher, a chocolates, and it says, no one like it's long, y'all, so hold on. No one likes chocolate, but everyone seems to like vanilla and alpine white. The darker the chocolate, the longer it sits around and no one will take a bite. Chocolate doesn't, now vanilla, oops, goddamn. Hold on. Now vanilla just to be chocolate. Not now to be now to me being chocolate is the only word I would be in, but the only way I would be bought if my name was first European. Or if in some way I try to fade to Alpine, but there is no or fudge is even better when it's made the right way. Either one will give me enough energy just to make it through the day. The worst part about the situation is when chocolate starts to dislike itself. Then it gets all hot and sticky and begins to melt. Now there's nothing in this world. I mean nothing against another. Now vanilla doesn't like chocolate because it's becoming too sweet. And chocolate's becoming too wise for even Alpine White to cheat. Vanilla and Alpine White are upset because it's becoming harder to control chocolate. Has been doing research and found its history 
That vanilla and alpine white here. Now chocolate knows it's been around for millions of years. Chocolate developed science, philosophy, mathematics, theology, and you even find pieces of chocolate in the pyramids. Chocolate even found out it was in America before vanilla touched the seas, made friends abroad, and started the first universities. Vanilla and alpine white became a do you have anything to back up the things that you are saying? Chocolate reached into his library, pulled out several books and years of research just to prove that it was not playing. Now, Chocolate said, look, here's the proof as any fool can see. And also, when the creator wanted something sweet, the creator first created me. Now, when other Chocolates heard this, they fell in love with their own taste and started to get angry about all these simple tasks because Chocolate had the first to learn to love themselves. Now, this was complicated because many obstacles had been put up. Chocolate had to first learn that there is no life without struggle and stagnation corrupts. Plus, vanilla and alpine white definitely wasn't a joke. They put magic rocks in the chocolate neighborhoods that would get chocolate high when smoked. The magic rocks could easily develop laws that chocolate had to follow. Just to make sure if chocolate won his struggle, his soul would definitely be hollow. Now, alpine white was smart and king of all the tricksters. He tried to deny chocolate research by forming history in Spain. Now, with all this, chocolate didn't get upset. Chocolate figured as long as it could write and speak that it hadn't been defeated yet. Chocolate also realized that time was on the side because if you mix chocolate and vanilla or chocolate and alpine white, you get the chocolate kind. Here's Now, a plan of action they had to make up. They had to find a way to destroy the chocolates, especially the ones with the nuts. So vanilla scientists came up with something that could make chocolate melt and spread it throughout the community quietly, slowly, and with stealth. Now, chocolate didn't expect anything quite like shit that caused them to melt, too. This contaminant wasn't choosy. It melted chocolates old or in their youth. On top of all this, the magic rocks caused the chocolate war, and it was killing chocolates, especially with nuts, by the score. Now, the question I often ask myself is up to you. To be continued. That shit about 30 years old, honestly. So, um, That was dope. That was dope. Who wrote that? What? What? <laughs> Crazy, did you hear this, man? I, oh, goddamn. <laughs> I wrote that I shit. That signature, I heard that signature hot pen. That's, big, that's signature right there. Shit. She said, what? Who? That's, that's dope, hot Kim. I didn't know you had talent like that. <laughs> what? Yeah. He didn't introduce some of the greats into the game. I'm just saying. <laughs> For real, he didn't get. He gave, he gave a lot of people they start. Man, Navita, I thought you at least heard me do poetry before. No, no, I have not. What's I have gonna... not, but um, that gave me. We're gonna. I got something in the works now. My mind is uh, uh grinding. So I've already been having some grinding anyway because I I really appreciate everybody for coming out yesterday because we had a lot of new. Faces yesterday, quote unquote conscious circle or whatever. Word. And that they still may be, they may be conscious folk, but I'm just saying those are people that a lot of people, you know, I knew them. But I mean, some of these people that I've grown up with for guys, like once in the last probably 30 years, and she showed up yesterday. Mm. Mm. You know, and uh, it was just really. You know, I have friends that I've known that have that was the first time they came to something like that I've had. It was just really good to see a lot of new faces in the building. It and was. I appreciate everybody's support. Had a lot of feedback right. on that, you know, a lot of emotional people that were actually, you know, emotionally touched by the movie. And, um, I'm, you know, I, I'm glad it was successful. Got it. Like actually, Hatem was the first person I ever said the first time I ever set foot into a poetry into an open mic poetry, which was over ten years ago. Now, Hatem was the first person I saw on the stage. In between poets introducing the next poet, I, I, I done heard. I think I might have heard more range of poetry from Hatem than I done heard from most poets. So, and he definitely gave me my start. He gave. He gave me, he, he kind of literally and figuratively passed the mic to me and empowered me to be, to, 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 
and including poetry. So I mean, poetry is just the beginning of yes, like it it's is. a small, a small uh, fraction of the spoken presence that Ha Chim has introduced to me, and I'm sure counting. Uh, I was not able to come yesterday because I, I had the first time job, so I was working. Um, but I think that maybe, you now, Navita, you said that there was uh, more of a, oftentimes, you know, we discuss it here in Genami, we, we talk about it, but maybe it's a topic that's sort of taboo in our country and wanted an outlet to. What's up, Carrie J? Hello, Carrie. To verify how they're feeling about that subject. And also, um, Tracy talked about. I'm kind of in that phase, like most people who know me think that I'm really quiet, which I am, and I don't really talk a lot, but I have been experimenting with writing and trying to be better at speaking in front of groups of people. So I don't know, is that is that something that as a community we could have some kind of event or something that just aren't necessarily... Hmm or that don't do this, you know, all the time. Now, I think people would be interested in doing that. I think people, how do we, I mean, so, so are you, are you, so let's, let's, let's take that a little bit deeper. Wait, first off, so I, don't, I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. I don't know what that would look like or, but, you know, go. Carrie Jenkins is on, 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 uh, um, Facebook. We want to send shots out to Carrie Jenkins. You remember, you know who that is, right, Quasi? Shouts sure. out. All right. So now, but go ahead, Quasi. You was, you was talking. Cause I'm, I'm trying to, because that's a good idea, but because I'm, I'm trying to get, because that might be something. You know, he, took, you know, he, he showed me love. Uh, we don't, it ain't been a year really since the, we have been, uh, went since I was without communicating since he first uh, hooked up. But that's another person I tend to connect me with, man. But now I was thinking that, like, ever since you, uh, ever since you brought me on stage, it kind of encouraged me to get up there. Like, I done got more and more comfortable, but... And, I mean, it's been about two years now since I did one, and I don't know. I wasn't necessarily thinking about doing that, like, consciously, but I know I'm getting back into the... At that point in time, because I just was dealing with my own stuff. Right. But, you know... But you know the beauty of stage. I'm being, I'm, you know the beauty... Again. The beauty of being on stage is that you get to deal with your stuff. And Pozo used to set a brother up, and I get up there, man, and by by about ten o'clock, you know what I'm saying? I'm uh, that's a joke. But let me say this: it is our responsibility to pass the mic. That's doubt, you know, because what you up and I'll pull other young people up and be like, "Yo, y'all, it's time for y'all to start hosting this shit." You know what I'm saying? Because shit, I'm building for attorney. I don't know what I. I run into Lama. I don't know what motherfuckers else. I don't know what other people out there is building towards. I'm building for eternity. So that means that I have to pass the mic. Because one day you might be able to pass the mic to Cleve. Or, or pass. You did it well smooth. Like you did it in a way you made it seem like I like you needed me to. Well, I knew. I watched you do well, it. I did. I, I did you need you. At, show, but you put it. <laughs> I did need you. Because I, by, I the feel, the show, I, it, it, by the end of the show. By the end of the show. By the show. I did need you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I mean, at, at that point in time, especially when it was hot, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and, 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 and people was praying at the door. You know what I'm saying? By the, by the end of the night, I did need you. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it, wasn't, it wasn't an act. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's like some, I mean, I shit, at that point in time, I was going through a lot of shit in my life. I'm still going through a lot of shit. So I did need you. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's what the young people got to understand, dog. I mean, um, with all of y'all, we need y'all. You know what I'm saying? We need all of your talents. We need and we need for. But, go ahead. I'm sorry. The, the thing of it for me though, why I kind of said I was in the streets, but I wasn't like no no centerpiece in the streets. I was just another nigga in the streets. You see what I'm saying? So then when I came there, like not I, I was a dude in the streets that was talking this type of conscious stuff to a bunch of dudes that didn't want to hear it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? They didn't want to hear that shit. So when I came there, you, like, not, like, there was a role for me. And you, you know, consciously, subconsciously, however that happened, like, you created a space for me to be able to feel important doing something that was important for me. And that changed my life. But back to, back to yeah. Sister Cynthia's thought, because 
maybe what we don't need is uh, well, I mean, we could do poetry, those subjects that are in a sense of plague in our community and be able to get up and express their ideas about it. The only the only question I have to ask is how would we structure that? Because what poetry does, uh, the way at least a poetry slam or maybe we could tell people they could do presentations and give them a talk. Because, you know, sometimes somebody going off the cuff to get up there for about 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I'm cool. I'm cool with it. But everybody else is not necessarily cool with you doing over five minutes of material and then going down memory lane. But um, it, are you talking about are you talking about a poetry piece, um, Sister Cynthia, or, or were you talking about just people being able? Um, maybe sort of both. Um, you know, maybe we could choose a specific topic. Um. And make it so that it's not just discussion or someone, you know, one facilitator just kind of doing most of the talking. But I don't know. I don't know. I just, so, I don't know. I, think I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. Good throw. <clears throat> think Excuse about me. that. <clears throat> think about it. Like you said some of the topics that are maybe problematic yet taboo that we don't really get into in the community. So, so I think some for some take it for granted and others just um, um, don't want to talk about it. Is um, Let me come right back. <laughs> in the middle. But go on and take the car. All right. So now... Um, so right now, family, we're so talking. I think another topic, I think. Go ahead. Well, I was going to suggest another topic that I'm sorry. Really I'm a, sorry. I got somebody I'll going through a crisis. I'm sorry. Go ahead and your um, business. So. Wait, hold on, Avita. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. I'm uh, sorry about that, y'all. Hold on for a second. We got Sister Cynthia finish what you were saying. I need to discuss. Because I know I was at a point at this point in my life at one time is sort of making that transition from religious based ideas to spiritual based ideas. Because mm. I kind of struggled with that for a minute until I kind of was able to find the right people and. You know, it's an individual journey, but you, I think sometimes, and, and how do I, how do I, you know, take care of myself spiritually without feeling like I'm dishonoring my, my family or mm. like sometimes people struggle with that. They don't really want to mm. go to church, but they don't feel like they don't have another option. Right. Um, right. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's. Sister one, Cynthia, one discussion piece that we could, could happening to the people that have been in because what you start to notice is that people come in late 20s um early 30s you know what I'm saying seriously like doing work and hitting the fit 40s and 50s but then as they start reaching the maturity point of their life up is some of the fears that we have because far as the struggle we don't have a a, a heaven concept we don't have it. You understand what I'm saying? That really addresses the needs of individuals or even take care. I mean, really, in many ways, what we're building does not take care of the social needs and walk. And we need to come up with a concept that fits in the area where people can practice their spirituality in a community and feel. Because yeah. one of the major things that bother me is what I call the black power retirement account. Which means that when you die, motherfuckers got to get up and scrounge. Because a lot of us that are looking at the elders that might be mad now, we will be where they are real soon. Those of us that's in that's in our 50s, we know it because we done seen it calm down. And they 60 and 70 years old. And they're looking mortality in the face. And the question we got to ask as a movement is how do we help our elders look mortality in the face? Not just with money, but also with their wisdom 
with their involvement and their energy. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Sister Navita, because I think he was next on the mic. Well, um, I think that, um, hold on, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. Most of the people that I know that came last night were actually, um, you know, religious people, you know, Christian people. And I think that the top people of us, whether we're quote unquote conscious, Catholic, Jew, whatever, that was a topic that everybody could relate to. So I think that's why the turnout was as it was. Mm. And I'm just like, yo, I mean, we got to be able to, we got to be able to reach and provide certain, I mean, the reality, the reality of, and this is going to sound spooky to some of those that might pop on, we need you to invest your life into the progress of our people. We need you, I mean, we need you to invest your life. We need you to get your children geared up to be prepared to fight for, um, to fight for uh, because we have become the universal people we have only been able to survive and I'm just trying to let people know there's a whole nother aspect of life where we are where we should be able to where we should be able to not just survive but thrive you know what I'm saying so shit you know what I'm saying because the spiritual see when we look at the spiritual principles of truth, justice, righteousness, reciprocity, balance, order, and harmony, that shit wouldn't have worked for Kemet if it didn't apply to Kemet first. I'm gonna be true. You, you have to understand the context in which these spiritualities were used. These were not universal spiritual principles. These were spiritual principles. These were ideas that helped to motivate and push the culture forward. Now, when you start applying and bringing everybody, you, you, you handicap your children. You allow them to exist in a world raceless, in a world that is full of races and full of groups that's trying to take advantage of motherfuckers. And my issue is, as a black man, I'm not letting that shit happen with us no more. Not willingly. You know what I'm saying? Not willingly. Folks say, get out and vote, get out and vote, get out and vote. Where my motherfucking conscious ticket? Do you, you understand what I mean when I say a conscious ticket? If you, if black folks are telling other black folks to vote, it makes no sense to fuck a sermon. When I go to the, uh, the polling office, when I go to cast my vote, if if you're if 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 there is somebody leading me in my vote, your ancestors died for the right to vote, but they had an agenda. And what is the agenda for black folks when it comes to politics? What is the agenda when it comes to economics? Where is the? T are there any candidates? There, there. That matter of fact, yes, there are. And because somebody called me, the only reason I was thinking about this because somebody called me for weapon as a people. We have, and but instead of being a uh, being being a weapon in the hand of an experienced sniper somebody who could all supposedly have this free thought except when it comes to style except when it comes to dance because i'm gonna tell you motherfuckers be screaming how much freedom they want but you go tell your soul start hopping around like one of these little kids and i'm just looking at this shit like what is this nigga doing you know what i'm saying so we believe in 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 individual thought when uh when it comes to important shit to eat all this little made all this little unimportant shit we got all this individual thought we got no it's group thought you know what i'm saying what's in style and and little shit like that that's really controlling our lives but when it comes to the big shit we start doing the research and at least in columbus put out a ticket and then have somebody like with our own media go to these motherfuckers and ask them questions if they don't let us ask them questions you know what i that that would be a difference between you winning and you losing. We need motherfuckers to report to our community, to us, to discuss it. Now, I know this guy kind of got off, but what Sister Cynthia and what uh, um, Sister Navita are doing right now is building up collectors of people that will be able, I mean, because just those ideas, just, I had one issue that was talked about there, and that was issue one. Other than that, that if I go vote, 
Well, I ain't going to say if because I already told y'all I'm going to do it because what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start helping develop a ticket or at least get a team with me that can help develop a, a, a political ticket so that we can start making sure that we voting for people. I don't give a fuck who you are. You can't get an office. Period. Because it's about money. Um, I'm sorry. I, um, I was just thinking that... <coughs> um. In addition to maybe in addition to the movie piece, um, you know, we could do um, some other kind of piece, whether it be edutainment, more a social thing, and maybe you know, have it like I was watching your video. Was that your video with the DJ last night? You know, something you know that could attract. That was just really cool. That 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 video that I put up was J Rawls and brother um, DJ O Sharp, and like I said, if we was to throw oh. an event and had them there, they'd get a crowd there. They and, and they hot and because in hip hop, there's no illusions in real hip hop, not this rap shit. There's no illusions about the role of the DJ. And I know some people know what hip hop is, but hip hop has a lot of shit that comes from this fucked up experience that we have over here you know what i'm saying because there's a certain part of me that i don't necessarily want to expose but eventually i'm gonna have to expose because i have a lot of anger and i'm gonna be honest with you i have a lot of anger with yahweh i got a lot of anger with allah i got a lot of anger. spiritual kick with me you know what i'm saying I, with heru yeah, i know i'm not with that i'm pissed yeah, really I'm, 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 I'm pissed at heru <laughs> I'm pissed at Asar. I'm pissed with Allah. I'm pissed with y'all. Y'all, I'm pissed with all. Uh, I'm just saying, and I have a problem. You know what I'm saying? Just like with the story, because um, just like the story that you might have missed at the beginning, I did the story of the hair with many friends, and we are the people with many friends, with many gods, with many me, with Shango or Batala, or before you approached me with uh, Asar, I sat. Before you approached me with Yahweh, you need to. First of all, uh -oh. to address, uh, we're talking about. Wait a minute, is this the Black Yoda? Brother, this is yeah, the Black man. Yoda. But nonetheless, regardless of what mythology you follow, we're Africans all over the place. So, thus, this is just a continuation of the African experience. Not to borrow from uh, what uh, Malcolm first one. Well, the second one is when you take a mythology for what it's meant to be. There we go. And not for what people are making it. Okay, that's what so I'm. That's what I'm at. You need you need to be a little more uh, uh, refined. I can't yeah. help it, man. Refined, refined in your man. presentation. When you and I understand your frustration. I'm very frustrated. But, uh, um. And, and uh, but, you know, but I just want to coming back and shit, but I'm gonna let you go and do it, elder. <laughs> and shit, look, bro, you know, whatever I do is in love. I already know. I ain't and, see. And, 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 and so, and our love is for our people. I agree. That, I, but when, when do I, we throw, when do we call, throw the cold water on my face? Everybody and, and, may not be aware of that. They, their thinking is not I'm, that way. They're just. I'm not. I'm not concerned about those whose thinking is not that way. It's enough of us whose thinking. We have a. We have. We have a, a critical mass of people. I mean, family. I, it, it's. I mean, the, the the all the shit that we've been getting is not is not helping us. And I'm getting older. And in a minute, I'm not gonna have the type of energy that I. Cause we continue to allow motherfuckers on this, um, politically correct. Believing in spirit, reacting, we get to watch look, this. Look, break it you down. Know, look, I know. You, you come to them. Look, I'm, I'm not telling you to change the way you come from that perspective because, again, I don't care what people believe as long as they're not working against them. Yeah, when they work mind. against them. Go ahead, Elder. I'm sorry, go no, ahead. But, at the, but I have to stress what, what Brother Wakesa is trying to instill in us. We have to know who the true enemy is. I agree. I agree. I'm just saying. A lot of these folks, you know. Um, they don't know? These pastors know, man. You know they right. know. And it's like, and it's like, it's like, if, 
My piece is I, so who, I, who is the true enemy? Uh oh. I think sometimes we are our own enemy. But hold on. That's an excellent Who's question. The Who's the enemy? I don't know who that brother is that was or that person that was talking. I don't know who that is. That's Brother Kwame. I, 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 That's I'm Brother Kwame. I, he he be he, he can answer that. Go ahead, answer that for him, brother Kwame. Yeah, I'm interested in you. You the person that brought it up. I'm interested in who you think who yeah. is the enemy specifically. I'm saying the enemy is the person who's taking food out your mouth. You can't let me get mine and provide for mine. Then you become the enemy. Now, mm, okay. but, but he want to be a little bit more specific because I already know white folks to hold us where we are. Not saying, because I know some of y'all, not all white folks, but there's a system that has been put in place that makes sure that they are able to go to the table before you. And by the time you get to the table, there's nothing but crumbs left. They're stopping you from eating. What he's saying is, well, more, more importantly, is who is not the enemy? What, what Kwame don't want me to fall into is attacking my own, which I try to avoid. But when people come, but what I'm saying is, when do we... When do we start dealing with those that are really in our tribe? See, because what, what start to happen is that people start feeling that, you know, I can voice whatever the fuck I want to whenever I want to because we don't have the ability, in which, which, which will disappear soon. We need to be able to reward our friends and destroy our enemies. Point, piece, period, point blank. As a black man, I could do foul shit. And those, there's no repercussions from us. As a black woman, I could just be a foul motherfucker. And there's no repercussion from us. As long as I stay up under the radar from the system or from white people, I'm cool. And we have to change that shit. And all I'm saying is when I'm saying I'm pissed at Allah, I'm not pissed at black people. When I'm pissed at Jesus, I'm not pissed at black people. When I'm pissed at Shango, I'm not talking about black people. When I, I'm just asking the question, and I think it's a question that's legitimate, that where was all the spiritual love and, 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 and when, when they was herding me up on slave ships? Where's that shit when I'm uh, a majority of the prison population? You know what I'm saying? I, it, it got to such a point, and, and, and a lot of people, I'm, I honestly believe that when it comes down to reality, most black people are atheists. They're just too scared to admit it. And, and they're hedging their bets because they will say Jesus, they will say Allah, they will say anything just in case they are wrong. They're hedging their bets. But most black I agree folk, with that to a certain degree. Most black folks yeah, I'm a like this. <laughs> I ain't scared of that shit. I ain't scared to go to hell. I'll fuck Satan up. If I went to hell, I'll fuck everybody up. I'll be so pissed that I was in this place that was just on fire forever. I'm gonna fuck forever. I'm fucking everybody up. Forever. And I'm gonna break out. You see what I'm saying? That shit can't hold me. Like, oh, okay, this is what it is. It ain't no more bullshit now. It ain't no more deception. Hell ain't that scary. Hell is actually way more... It, it sounds... This sounds worse than hell. Because they trying to make it seem like this ain't just all the way fucked up. But at least hell, everything is real. There ain't no more deception but hell. That's this the, is what it is. See, but that's it's the point. Forever. That's the point. If you, you take, there with you take for example, what, if you take, who, for example, who says hell is, is, exists? If you take, for I mean, example, this is hell, then you realize you ain't got nothing to lose for going for it. I agree. And that's why I'm saying, well, in hell, then, that's why I'm saying when you have a proper understanding of a lot of these mythos that we're presented with, and then, I mean, and how Tim has the point, I mean, you know, we're sta we're taking control of our storytelling. We got to. We have, Now we have to take control of our myth. We have to. You know what I'm saying? Because the myth that we have right now have us aiming for one place and trying to avoid another place and doing everything to stay within the rules within this place that is fucking us over. And those are stories. And it's like we don't understand the story. So we got people taking the stories to such an extent that they become so spiritual that they are, are of no earthly good. That's all I'm that's all I'm really really against. I cause for those that people right, that know right. me, I am very 
I am very spiritual, but I'm just not into turning because I understand that my ancestors worked through me and my ancestors worked through Navita. My ancestors worked through Cynthia and they worked through uh, uh, Kwame and Kwesi because when and whenever I received a blessing, it always came through a person. It, I ain't never walked home and it was a mysterious check sitting on the motherfucking thing to pay my... No, all my miracles... Or, so that's how things happen. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And it's like, <laughs> I'm sorry, our go ahead. Technology tells us that all our, I mean, you know, from the comedic perspective anyway, that all our nature. And I agree. you and me. And, and I agree. And that, look, man, after we pour our libations, I mean, you know, you do yours late in the day and whatnot, but that's oh, all that's I'm up. still with you, right? That was, that when was, I get up early That was an unjustified low what shot, I'm, Yoda. But that's cool, because I'm a sit. I'm going to get your ass. That's cool. Look, bro, we, look, we all in love, man. <laughs> so, but when I'm doing my, you know, at the end of my prayers, bro, I say, Lord Most High, ancestors, let us be the answer to our prayer. Mm. I say, I say, I say, I say. I, say. I hear you. I agree. And that's, that's, all, that's all I'm throwing out. That's all I'm throwing out, Quarry, because it, it comes to a point where, where we even have to draw the lines on. See, because if something pops off, then everybody going to be black. I'm with identifying that shit now. I want to know. Who on our side, who not. I want to know who real friends, who real allies, because everybody become your friend and ally when you have the resources or you have the ability to protect when shit is going down. And I, I just need, I just, I, I just feel that we need to be very clear because I don't want to rate, I don't, because it, it might come to a point and I don't want to get to this where it might be a limited amount of food. I want to make sure that I feed somebody's child who... Who was struggling with us? Do you understand what I'm saying? Who was building with us? Mm -hmm. See, because I need people to understand. I love my people, and I love you because you melanated. But once you identify where you are, and you let me know where the lines are drawn, see, because we are allowed to be vague. I want to reward my friends, and I want to destroy my enemies. That's very African. That's very hip hop. Nigga, you don't like, you don't want to be down with us? I could dig that. And I understand where we at. I understand in the reality and in how my ancestors dealt with the universe. Because I want you to think about what happened to individuals that disagreed with the Pharaoh. I don't think it was a lot of debate. What happened to another people when the Pharaoh wanted to move to a certain place and he wanted to do something? Yeah, I don't think it was a lot of debate about that shit. I don't think there was a consensus. I'm just being honest. Uh, no, I mean, you know, I, I, when you started talking about that, I, I considered the, the story of what's called the, the eloquent peasant. Mm. No, I'm sorry, not, not the eloquent, but the, the, the story of Sinaway, uh, where there was an uprising in the... Uh, uh, the kingdom, and someone killed the pharaoh. And Sinaway was like, you know, uh, a really young advisor uh, in training to the pharaoh. So in order to keep himself from getting killed, he broke camp. And, you know, I mean, or many of you know the story where he goes off and he does quite well for himself because, he, you know, he's educated, right? Right. Um and he gets to a point where he's sitting there and he's like, damn, you know, I'm in a place where I'm practically fighting for my life because I've become so, you know, well liked and everything. And, you know, you got jealous people all around me and whatnot. Shit, I'm, I'm feeling homesick, right? Right. So the brother writes a letter to the new ruler of Kemet. And he basically, I'm paraphrasing now, but he's basically saying, you know, look, these are the circumstances under which I left. My most sincere, you know, apologies and regrets for having left. But I'd like to come home. But I fear for my life. 
because of the circumstances under which I left. Right. Right? Right. So that speaks to what you're talking about that, look, enemies didn't go unpunished. Oh, hell no. (laughs) This this whole forgiveness shit didn't come into effect until after they start whooping our asses. Oh, you need to forgive your enemies. People weren't doing that shit. That this, this whole it happened and we're going no uh uh-uh, uh that's some that is some new black people shit I'm just gonna be honest with you forget your enemies we all can't we all just get that's new in human history because you can't have a nation where people could just do shit see this is what people don't you can't have a crew you if you have a if, if you just in high school just think about high school. Or even junior, you can't have a crew where everybody claims to be part of their crew where, mom, where anybody can come up and punch somebody in your crew and y'all don't respond. Y'all don't, or, or even take pro action. You don't even have to be in that moment. You can pull the one that got hit to safety, but y'all have to deal with that because you have to be able to reward your friends and punish your enemies and even destroy them. But we don't want to deal with that shit. We don't want to deal with where politics. What we want to deal with is spiritual, um, uh, 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 deep spiritual thoughts, not realizing that spirituality is still on a balance. It still works with my eye. So now, because, look, look, bro, you know, I think you should make it plain for what people are referring to as spirituality is only one aspect of that. Right. It's only one aspect of that. It's very incomplete. Very, very imbalanced. Very. And makes it very inharmonious with what's going on around you. Because other people yeah. is practicing it full out. There yeah, has to be a balance. Me. And you can't, it, the universe, while you waiting for the universe, the universe is waiting for you and waiting for us. Well, the, the 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 arc of justice is long, it's, you know. Do y'all do you know that there's a difference from when my, um, um, Martin Luther King said the arc of justice is long between between him when he said that and when he died. But you don't hear that. Most people don't even study that part of Mark, uh, uh, Martin Luther King's evolution. You know, I mean, it's like yo, what the fuck? These motherfuckers. I mean, you. you uh, you know, I mean, like, I'm not a big Bill Cosby fan, but I can look at that shit. And some people need to lose their motherfucking job. Some people need to be put out of office. Some people need to be made to pay for that. Because you cannot tell me that Bill Cosby at 83 going to jail is fair on this whole. And this ain't even me too. See, because a lot of people are trying to say this is a me too victory. This is not a me too victory. This shit started before uh-uh. me too. Uh-uh. This shit started before me too. This is really for me. This is an eye opener for those of you out there. Bill Cosby has served them. He has posted. Damn. But anyway. Oh. Oh man. Hey, Kwame. Yo. I need a favor. See, this is dope. Look at this. We on a live show. I need a favor. Can you? Can you can you um call Elder Ori Piarki on the other line and act because I can't call. All my shit is gone. All my shit is gone. I know he wanna pick up his ambrosia. Can you I'm I'll just see, saying I'll see what I can do. Alright. But uh you know what? Uh, don't what, worry about what, it. What exactly what do you, what exactly do you need from him? Don't worry about it. I'll just deal with it in a second because we gonna we we gonna end soon, but most when I'm doing my shows. Um, well, family, I got family that's uh, in town, 20 years removed, so uh, I love you all. One love. Peace, God. <laughs> huh? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Any, yeah. Anybody want to comment on everybody what we said? Everybody got dropped? Oh, I always appreciate the dialogue. I appreciate being able to call in and speak. Uh, thankful for your platform, Jerry. And just, you know, for those that are listening, 
hopefully something has touched you so that you can begin to think differently and come along with us on this nation building journey. Word. And I'll see you later, uh, Brother Hartel, for my Aunt Rosie. That's right. I'm going I'm to call you right after y'all show. I'm about to start doing. That's what Elder OEP Aki was calling about as well. So I'm gonna. I'm yeah, everybody waiting. waiting. Everybody on waiting. I got them. I got it packed in the car. I'm about to go. On. I got to eat. I'm about to get up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat on the move. But family, I want to thank everybody. Uh, sister, uh, sister Navita, you got anything you want to close with? Sister Navita, you still there? Oh, she got company. All right. So, family, I want to thank everybody for joining us. I want to remind you, remind you that you have taken part with the Congregation of the Mighty. This is Giami Journey Media. Oh, there's none like it. Come on, anime. This is a hard and simple production. Of course, you know, this has been a daily toast as well as conversation. Well, as usual, we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. This is inside, South to Sister Cynthia, Sister Navita, Brother Kwame, Brother Kwesi for calling in. Shouts out to Mr. Jenkins. Thank you for hitting us up, letting us know that you was out there. And everybody else that was watching that I didn't know, I want to thank you. And um, um, I love you and thank you for your participation and support. And Sister Cynthia, text me. Your information so that I can go on because I'm about to get in the car right now. And I'm wherever you are right now, okay. I'm in. All right? Peace. All right. Peace.